Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and today we're cleaning out my closet. So this is a very necessary thing that I need to do right now, and I thought why not just take you guys along for the journey and hopefully inspire you guys to maybe do the same thing if you need to clean out your closet, get rid of some stuff, declutter, and just let go and move on. It is the holiday season right now, and this is always the time when I get inspired to do this because I'm like, now is the time to purge and donate, give back to the less fortunate. Why am I hanging on to stuff that I don't even wear or use? anymore somebody else could definitely use this this could brighten up somebody else's holiday season and also with the holiday season you tend to get a lot of new stuff coming in so it's really good to get rid of old stuff while you're you know bringing all that new stuff in so I always tend to go through my daughter Zaya's closet and get rid of stuff I also go through all her toys we just did that earlier today and you know get rid of toys donate stuff trash the stuff that's just trash so I already did Zaya's closet I already did her toys and now it is time to do my closet which is probably the worst right now so for you guys watching at home I definitely encourage you to do this along with me and if you want to sell your clothes to get a little bit of extra cash to be able to revamp your wardrobe that's always good or to be able to have a little extra cash to spend on others for this holiday season that's always a good idea you can use Poshmark, Depop, local consignment stores, online consignment stores, Plato's Closet, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, uh, just a regular old yard sale there's so many different ways that you can resell your items and just make a little bit extra cash like I said or if you're just more so in a giving mood and you just really want your clothes to go to a good home just give the stuff away for free I just want to encourage you guys to just get rid of and give back and cleanse cleanse yourself this holiday season <laughs> so this is my closet right now you guys in case you have not seen my original closet tour, I did this whole custom closet designed just for me and how I wanted to organize and store my clothes, shoes, and accessories. So I have this whole back wall of storage for shoes and accessories and then two walls of hanging clothes. But then I also have this little secret nook of stuff behind the closet door and the super secret nook of my um, extra shoe storage which I call the shoe dungeon. So I've got this whole built-in section right here with even more shoes and then you turn the corner and there's even more stuff underneath this little nook right here. But then also I have this dresser. It's a pretty large dresser in my bedroom that is also full of all of my folded clothes. Leggings, sweatpants, shorts, pajamas, swimsuits, and a whole bunch of t-shirts are in here. Ugh, I can't even open this drawer, see? Oh my God, I literally can't open it, it's so full. One good thing you'll notice about my closet is that it is not chock full, there is empty space. I have almost this whole section that's empty. This is actually pretty empty. There's a lot of empty hanging space right here. These sections right here are very full, but the rest of them definitely have empty space. But even still, with these sections right here, there is a lot of unnecessary hoopla going on. And then I've got these things right here that stick out these are supposed to be used for like styling an outfit, hanging your outfit for the next day, like one little cute thing. But they have accumulated all these random things what even is this? I don't know. I have another one on this side which looks like some sort of Quasimodo demon, but it's because there's so much stuff <laughs> hung over this little peg. A robe, a jacket, another jacket. That is not what this thing is for. Here's the thing, at one point I accumulated a lot of clothes and shoes and I felt like it was justified because at one point I was a little bit of a mini fashion blogger. That's what I did for a living. I made fashion content. So it was my job to constantly show you guys new clothes, new trends, new stores, new styles and I was constantly getting sent free clothes from companies to show you guys. But I said, you know what, this is my job. So 
it's fine. But let's be honest, I have kind of transitioned from being a fashion blogger to really being more of a mommy lifestyle vlogger who really does not focus too much on fashion. It's really annoying coming in here and having this beautiful closet, but then feeling like I have nothing to wear. Like when I actually do need to go somewhere, I'm in here struggling because I just have like this weird mismatch wardrobe of just random pieces. It looks cool to be able to say like, oh, I have this big closet and it's so full, haha, <laughs> but none of it actually fits me. So it's really a lie, a sham. It's just, pointless we're just letting it all go if it doesn't fit it's not staying if i haven't worn it in years it's not staying if i feel like somebody else could definitely get more use out of it it's not staying okay i've got my moscato i've got my chocolate I've got my comfy clothes and cozy socks on i would play music over my speaker system i can't do that because of copyright because of the video but for those of you following along at home put on your best playlist to get you moving and inspired because i'm literally about to go through every article of clothing that i own one category i definitely need to like definitely get rid of a lot of stuff in is my hoochie mama category <laughs> my hoochie mama category is the clubbing going out sexy sparkly low cut tight fitting special event type clothes because let's face it i'm a mom this is how i actually dress on an everyday basis. So I've accumulated a lot of stuff like this just because in college, this was like my jam. All types of stuff like this. This was has always been like my favorite type of clothing. And a lot of it came from the fact that I always felt like I had more of a boyish body type. So if I didn't dress sexy, I didn't feel sexy. I would really just wear it on an everyday basis, not even just for like going to the club. I would just wear it just every day because this is how this is how I wanted to look and feel. But you know how some people are like super curvy and super feminine and it does not matter what they're wearing. They could literally just be wearing a t-shirt and they would still just look so sexy because their body itself is sexy. I was the opposite. I'm like, my body is a toothpick, a number two pencil, a fettuccine noodle. So a fettuccine noodle wearing a t-shirt it's not much to look at, you know? So I always felt like I needed to wear sparkles and rhinestones and crop tops and low cut stuff to like zhuzh up my fettuccine noodle, you know what I mean? Now I don't really feel like that anymore, partially because I did buy some boobs, but also because I'm a mom and I'm chilling and my lifestyle is just so much more chill now that I just don't need to look like that. So we're definitely going to get rid of some of my hoochie mama clothes. I'm still gonna keep some of it because there's still those occasions when I just wanna, you know, but I don't need my whole closet full of this stuff. This little bralette actually still has the tags on it, but it was purchased on clearance and I cannot return it. I would resell it. I'm not even bothered with trying to make people pay for the stuff. So I kinda wanna hang on to it. Okay, so actually, I have no hangers. I have purchased so many boxes and boxes of hangers off of Amazon, which by the way, I will link down below. Like these black hangers that I use, they're the felt hangers, so nothing slips off of them. These are just like the best hangers. You can get a box of like, 50 or 100 of these on Amazon for like 20 bucks, like really good price. So I will link them down below. But I have like 500 of these and they're all being used up right now. So I don't even have hangers to be able to pick this stuff up off the floor and put hangers on it. So I think what I'm gonna do first is actually go through the stuff that is on hangers so that if I'm getting rid of something, I can take it off of the hanger and save that hanger and use the hanger for something better this section is actually pretty organized this is like my main like tops like like if you're wearing jeans and a nice top but ain't no nice tops in here like i can never find anything i actually want to wear first things first this top why do i still have this i got this for like a lookbook video or something a long time ago trying to be different trying to get like a different color and a different no i don't like yellow why am i trying to force myself to wear yellow when i know i don't like yellow this is from at least like two years ago no giveaway pile and i can save this hanger i'll make a hanger pile over here um i don't know i'm kind of on the fence about it this is just like a regular cute little casual crop top definitely good for the summertime definitely good for like 
the 4th of July barbecue. Maybe I'll hang on to it for now and come back to it. This has a hole on it. This is really cute, but just does not fit me. And I keep trying to force it to fit me and it just doesn't fit me. So either I am going to take the time to alter it and do some magic with my sewing machine or I need to get rid of it. So I'm gonna make a new pile of actually like stuff that I need to alter. And I'm probably gonna like devote a whole day to just like altering clothes. That goes in the alter pile. So we're gonna have needs to be altered, needs to be given away, needs to be thrown away and keep. Oh, and the return pile. <laughs> this is a pajama shirt. I don't know why it's hanging in my closet. Like it's a nice top. I feel like this doesn't fit me either. This is a giveaway. This sweater is something I never wear because it's an under boob sweater. It's literally cut where your boob is supposed to be hanging out the bottom. When am I ever gonna need to wear a sweater but want my boobs hanging out the bottom? I just, it's a cute look. I've definitely seen people wear it, but for me personally, where, where am I going? And I've had this for years and I've never used it. So that's a giveaway. Like I need to just get real with myself. Like Raven, you're not gonna wear a sweater with your boobs hanging out. Stop trying to be cute. Like you're not, you're just. <laughs> It just doesn't fit, so I'm gonna give it away. It's really cute, and that's why I always keep stuff, because I'm like, but it's so cute. But it doesn't fit. I wanna wear it. But are you gonna wear it? No, you're not, so give it away. Give it away. Well, I'm trying to give you guys like inspiration of like types of things that you probably need to get real about and get rid of. So this is another example. I really wanted a white, tube top bodysuit, cute. I want to wear this. I want to have this in my closet, but this is from a really cheap place. The fabric is really cheap. Every time I put it on, I'm gonna be mad and it's not gonna look good because it's see-through and there's nothing I can do about it. So why am I keeping this? That has got to go. Another outfit with a tag on it, even though I got it years ago, because again, it was really cute in theory, but when I put it on, it didn't actually look cute on me. Get rid of it. Stop hanging on false hope. I'm talking to you through the camera. Cause you know, you know you got some stuff like this in your closet. It was cute on the model, but it's cute. It's cute on the hanger, but then you put it on and you don't like it. So get rid of it. This is an intervention. Why? Why do I still have this? It's a completely see-through skin tone bodysuit. What am I, this is like to make you look like you're naked. You see why I'm frustrated with myself? Made good progress here. There's definitely empty space in here now. While we're at it, let's just move over from this section that we just did to this section over here. This is my short and mid length dress section. Now I would say the dress section is one of the hardest for me because I don't wear dresses every day. Nobody really wears dresses every day. It's more meant for like special occasions, more dressed up occasions and they don't happen that often, but they do happen and I want to have something to wear for when they do happen. But it's just like, I don't know this stuff just really doesn't get used very often but I tend to want to hang on to it so it's kind of hard so I have three dresses right here that have pretty much never been worn outside of the house this one some of you guys may remember from a shopping vlog that I did and it's really pretty I got it from forever 21 got a good deal on it it's like very Greek goddess I like it but am I ever gonna have a reason to really wear it? Maybe I just need to come up with my own reason to wear it. Do a girl's night, you know, take myself on a date and then I can wear it. These two, on the other hand, this looks like a Halloween costume to me. It's just a little, it's just, but then you see, then I look at it and I'm like, well, I'm gonna, I'm, mm -hmm. see, this is hard. Uh, this I'm getting rid of. Here's another example of something that is just raggedy. You don't need raggedy stuff in your life. That particular thing was stretched out, see-through, and had a hole in it. So many little black dresses, and some of them are so similar to each other. This one's barely shorter, but other than that, same material, same neckline, same fit to it. I think I'll keep the Zara one because it's a little bit of a better fit and better quality. This is kind of like the cheaper knockoff of this. 
how did I end up with both of these? I don't know. Let's throw it away. Boom, look at that. All this empty space in here now. So I feel a lot better about this section now. Okay, so that's the short dress section done. I actually had to create a new section over here that I didn't have before, which is going to be my blazer section because I've accumulated a lot of blazers recently. These are actually all new. So I think this is gonna be like blazers and denim. And my floor is looking a mess. I'm going to gather up all my hangers and hang them up somewhere so they can be easy to grab. Okay, so it's a new day and I need to finish this up. So I am going to continue going through all the different sections of my closet and taking out the things that I know I'm never gonna wear that don't fit me, all that stuff. And then I need to put back all the stuff that's on the floor because all this stuff is still on the floor and it needs to be hung up and organized. So I left off over here on the shorter dress section. Now I'm going to move on to this long dress hanging section. Don't really have much hanging in this section because I don't typically buy or wear like maxi dresses or like full length things. I do have two bathrobes hanging right here, but I don't really think my bathrobe needs to be hanging in my closet. These two things are both um, full length one piece jumpsuits, really cute. This one's kind of like the satiny pajama one. This one is a snake skin one, but they just don't fit me right. It just wasn't made for my body. And this one is going to be for the um, things I need to alter pile. And for the things I need to alter pile, I'm gonna make a rule for myself that if I don't actually alter all those things within a certain amount of time, or let's say like a week from now, if I don't actually alter them, I'm just gonna give them away because I don't want them just sitting there if I'm not actually gonna like do it. And then in the very back, I have two keepsake memento items that I know I'm never, ever, ever gonna wear again, but I'm keeping them because they are special to me. Both of these items were handmade by um, me and my grandmother collaborating together. I designed it, she helped me actually make it because um, she is a really good seamstress. This is from my high school prom and this was my baby shower dress when I was pregnant with Zaya. So I do allow myself to keep special things like this, I mean they're handmade. So I would feel really bad just like getting rid of them. Probably one day I'll feel better about parting with them and like letting somebody else actually have them and wear them. But for now, it's only two things. So I'm just gonna keep them. Okay, progress. This whole bin right here is full of my donate giveaway pile so far. Everything right here has now been put on hangers and it's ready to be sorted back where it goes. And this whole section over here that used to be full of clothes is now cleared off. Um, I have this whole chunk of clothes right here that I just put on hangers that are actually all new pieces that I've never worn before. Now, the main story behind all these pieces, I've got like this cute little mint green top a pink Barbie bodysuit, this really pretty dress with a little side sparkle on the side split, which you guys have probably seen on Instagram. This I actually did wear for the red carpet at YouTube Black. This dress that Jayla gave me, this really cute sparkly swimsuit cover-up, this really cute tight-fitting neon orange dress. So I'm going to keep this up. It's all literally brand, brand new. So I'm going to leave this chunk of clothes as like inspiration, as a reminder to book a freaking vacation, book another vacation, go out, do stuff and actually wear this stuff. So I'm thinking about even like dedicating like a specific chunk of my closet for like inspiration clothes that I know I'm not really gonna wear for my everyday life, but I'm like saving it for something. <laughs> I have not worn this heavy winter coat in years. 
literally have not worn it and i bought other coats since then that i will wear if i ever go to a snowy place and this will be a great item to donate because i know there's someone out there that could really really use this coat but like this one is one of my favorite coats that i always wear this one is brand new i haven't gotten a chance to wear it yet and then i have ones like these like these super fluffy dramatic ones these are just for like when i go to new york and stuff like that these are some of my other heavier weight jackets it's basically the same jacket but in red and i really like this one i actually just recently wore it since i do travel to colder places sometimes it's nice to have different colors of coats to wear and not just have like your one black jacket so i do actually use those i swear and then this one of course i'm not going to get rid of because it's a really nice levi's bomber jacket but it's also customized with my name on it but that is it for my top row. I definitely cleared out some sweaters and jackets to donate and give away. All right, on this opposite side of my closet, we have the hoodie section. The, I don't know, I guess it's gonna become the blazers section. This is the matching two-piece outfit section. This is the fancy dress that I'm saving for later section. And this is the light jacket, leather jacket section but there's stuff in all these sections that I definitely can get rid of I'm on the fence about this green faux leather jacket I think it's really cool in theory but it's like a little too shiny or something and it's kind of out of my comfort zone I feel like this is gonna be something that I think is cool and I think I'm gonna wear it but I'm actually not ever gonna wear it this I've been hanging on to for forever it's from BCBG when I used to work at BCBG it was my first ever BCBG purchase which was like a really big deal for me at the time I like wore it once to work and then I like never wore it ever again it's time for it to go. This is my cheapo black leather jacket. If you guys have watched my Instagram story about the leather jacket saga, I ended up keeping my cheapo one and returning the expensive one. But until then, until I find a nicer one that I actually love, I'm keeping this one because there's nothing really wrong with this one. This section is gonna be my fancy party dress section that I'm saving for a special occasion. I'm gonna take all my sparkly dresses that I was talking about before and add them up there. So these are all dresses that like I like, like I want to wear these, I just need a reason to wear it. Alright, as of right now, every section has been decluttered, except for the last section are my blue jeans right here. So I'm gonna go through these. I'm only going to be keeping the jeans that actually fit me. And I don't even need to try these on to know because I already know off the top of my head from past experience of trying these on with different outfits. These are my favorite jeans in the whole world right now. They are by Abercrombie and they are the um, ultra high rise mom jean and I got them in a size double zero and these fit me perfectly. They have just the right amount of stretch. I also got them in the long length. They're just, they're just the best. And so these are the jeans that I always, always reach for. And then I also have these other distressed mom jeans from American Eagle, which are a similar thing. I also got these in a double zero, I believe. So similar thing, but just from American Eagle. This is actually a full on pair of overalls, which I've never worn, but I really feel like I should just keep these because you never know, okay? These I like because I really like all the embellishments on them. They have all these rhinestones. So I'm gonna put these in the altar pile since they're ripped, but I really like them. I'm gonna try and fix them. Okay, so I thought I was gonna get rid of more jeans than that. But now I've separated them into piles. So these are like my top, top favorite, favorite mom jeans from Abercrombie and American Eagle. These are like second tier, not super top favorite, but still fit really good, still good jeans. These are pretty much all just like tight, skinny jeans. These are all specialty jeans. So they have some sort of like embellishment or different kind of like design on them. So I think that's fair. You know, it all fits, there's room to grow. You've got mom jeans, skinny jeans, embellished jeans. 
right? That's a fair, that's a fair amount. And you guys, since that was my last section of clothes, actually no, that's not my last section of clothes to go through because I still have my dresser that's full of clothes in my bedroom, which is gonna be a whole nother pile of giveaway. I thought that was going to hold everything that I was getting rid of. Boy, was I wrong. Okay, since I don't have any more plastic containers, I'm just gonna have to use good old trash bags to be able to compile all this stuff. Okay, so there's that stuff, but you guys, I actually have a confession. <laughs> I actually have two more of those big plastic bins full of clothes and shoes and stuff from the last time that I cleaned out my closet where I thought I was going to do a closet sale. And like I said, those can be really tedious and time consuming, so I never had time to actually list all the items and host the closet sale. Okay, so here is everything all together so far. The previous stuff and the stuff I just took out of my closet. This is literally like this could be someone's entire wardrobe. This could easily be someone's entire wardrobe. Ugh, I don't know. I feel bad because it just feels so wasteful and it just feels so excessive and so unnecessary. And I know that there's so many people just cringing at this video because of fast fashion and how it's bad for the planet. And there's just so many negative things you could say. And I'm sorry, but I'm trying. At least I'm trying to do something about it. Like, I don't know what else to say. So here is my dresser. It is a 12 drawer, quite large and hefty dresser that is pretty much chock full. It's so full that this drawer won't even close all the way because it has too many pairs. Um, I can't even open it with one hand. Now I'm just going to go through and call out the same way that I did in my closet. This first drawer is supposed to be the crop top and bralette type little tops <laughs> uh, drawer. So I have a lot of those. That's kind of one of my favorite clothing categories. So off top, I already know which things in here are quote unquote raggedy. Okay, here is the finished crop top slash bralette drawer. I basically have a hella black little crop tank top, strappy top, shoulder, like a strapless, whatever, like all different types and shapes and forms of black crop tops because that's like one of my favorite things to wear. Second favorite color is gray. So again, I have a lot of those. Then I have some white ones, same thing, nude kind of pinkish ones, and then like my very few colored ones. And then this whole section right here is the bralettes. So they're like lacy little bralettes. Here is all the ones that I am getting rid of, mostly just because they are raggedy. <laughs> and here is all the stuff I took out of that drawer that did not belong in that category. So that's one drawer done. Okay, I'm gonna start with these two because these are my two main t-shirt drawers. I have a t-shirt addiction, clearly. All my shambles shirts, I can't get rid of my shambles shirts. I have the pink shambles, the gold shambles, the silver shambles, the pink and gold shambles. I'm not getting rid of these. Okay, so this might not look any different to y'all, but it's different to me. So this is like my casual hanging around the house running errands t-shirt drawer. So that's like my chillin' drawer. Then for my not so chillin' drawer, a little bit more dressed up, I guess you could say. These are like the nicer graphic tees, like I said, that you could wear with like jeans and heels and dress it up. Like they just fit nicer, they have a cooler graphic on it, whatever it may be. Then. From here on out, these are all just like my basics. So there's a tour of my new and improved t-shirt collection and these are all the t-shirts that I have decided to get rid of and give away. So I did definitely make a dent, even if it doesn't really look like it. These smaller top drawers, by the way, are underwear, bras, sports bras and socks. This is the sweatpants drawer, which is the most full drawer, and the leggings drawer, which is equally as full. 
Honestly, for the sweatpants, I'm just gonna say if they're not cozy and comfortable, they gotta go. Cause that's the only reason why I have sweatpants. Cause I wanna be comfortable. So if they're not comfortable, they gotta go. Okay, that's definitely an improvement because now we've got just a nice folded row and the drawer closes all the way and it opens. And I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six pairs that I'm getting rid of, so that's good. Now for the leggings. Now I say that's a big improvement on the leggings drawer, okay? I got a whole like two rows worth of space in there now. And then these are just like biker shorts and spandex shorts, just stuff like if you need to wear a pair of shorts under a dress or just like biker shorts, you know. Mm, I should probably fix this. Okay, I'll fix it. Okay, so tight spandex biker shorts, the colored ones, the black ones, and then all of my colored loose comfortable, comfortable, <laughs> comfortable athletic shorts on this side. Do -do. Almost done with the dresser. This category is swimsuits. So this is also pretty easy because I recently had to pack swimsuits for a trip. So I had to, you know, actually try on and think about which ones still fit. And for some reason I didn't get rid of the ones that didn't fit when I was doing that. So I'm gonna do that now. So I already know off top like which I like which ones I don't want. So I think this is a good variety. And the last drawer is the pajama drawer. I don't know, I don't really know if there's anything in here that I need to take out because I genuinely wear all of this stuff. Okay, so that is the dresser complete. Just like that, there is a whole nother Huge trash bag full of clothes, the third trash bag. Okay, I think at least for now, this is gonna be the official tally, I guess, of all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Three plastic bins and three very large trash bags. Uh, I thought I was done, but I forgot about my shoes and my accessories. Uh -huh. So first off, just shoes that I just really haven't worn in forever. These because, I don't know, I don't like the way they look on my feet for some reason. They're just a simple black heel, but there's something slightly weird about the shape of them and I think I could definitely find a better, higher quality pair. So these are gonna go, these I don't need to keep. I wore these like once, they're actually like kind of too small. Okay, so so far these are the shoes I'm getting rid of. I'm pretty much keeping all the main heels that were on this display because there's a reason why they're displayed on here because I actually like them and I do actually wear these. So those didn't really need much work. In my shoe dungeon, on the other hand, I did grab a few pairs off of here that I wanted to to get rid of so that's pretty much what that is but then I have my tall boots on these little clip hangers but they've just been laying on the floor this whole time because I didn't really have like a place to put them but I have an idea I was thinking I should put them up there with my winter coats because they kind of go with that season and I don't need to access them very often at all so I think I'm gonna put them up there you know what that's not bad I feel like that would probably bother certain people because they're like, it doesn't make sense. Why do you have boots up there with your coats? But it makes sense to me in my mind, okay? I'm not mad at it. Okay, I had a few stragglers, but now all my clothing has officially, officially been put away. Everything has officially, officially been gone through. And this is how many empty hangers I have left. Wow, I didn't count them and I'm not gonna count them, but it's a lot. Okay guys, I am officially done. My closet is cleaned out and organized and pretty again. And I feel so light and free. So let me give you a little overview of how everything looks now. 
And now everything is hung up, everything is organized. I feel like these sections don't really look that different because they're still really full and there's still a lot of clothes on those sections. These are like the three popular sections. So, I mean, I don't know, but at least I went through everything. I got rid of a lot of stuff. Everything is hung up. It's color coded in a way that makes sense to me. So I'm happy with that. The shoe wall is pretty much the same, just kind of more cleared off and then I actually moved these paintings that were in my bathroom up here because I don't know I feel like it needed something up there over here is all organized this section looks a lot better to me because now it's like all the blazers and denim stuff and long sleeve shirts these are my two-piece outfit so everything that has like a matching top and bottom I hung them together that way I always have the top and the bottom together all of my hoodies my pretty sparkly dresses which look so pretty hanging up there all together i love the way that looks and then all my lighter jackets this is all cleared off now it had a bunch of junk on there before oh and the shoe dungeon oh oh before the shoe dungeon we have the purse wall which i don't remember if i even showed y'all what this was looking like before but there was so much stuff just piled up on the hooks it was just getting too cluttered so i actually put this basket down here to catch some of the excess just so that it wouldn't be too much on the hooks so i think that worked out nicely and then in here this didn't really need much work, but I did get rid of a few pairs of shoes and just kind of straightened out all the shoes on there. And then this corner was definitely a mess. So you saw how I cleaned this up and just parked all my suitcases right there. And now I have all these empty hangers that I can use if I ever do add more stuff to my closet. And this just looks a lot better. Anyway, you guys, I feel a lot better now. I hope that this video inspired you to do the same thing in your closet or just in your house, in your life in general. If you need to declutter, if you need to let go of old things, make room for the new, donate, give to the less fortunate. I hope that you guys are inspired to get up and do this. It's always really good to do this around the holidays, like I said. So that is everything I have for this video. Give me a thumbs up if you're proud of me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.